In this video, we're gonna be using Murphy and McNeil Yang and the Rockwell 6C in gunmetal. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna be using Murphy and McNeil Yang. And this is a soap that Murphy and McNeil dropped in one of my orders uh, for free. This is coming out in four or five days, I wanna say somewhere around the weekend. And this particular one is called Yang, and I believe they'll have one also that's called Yin or something like that. Uh, this one is a woody scent. It's really not my type of scent. Um, scent strength is about medium. It, to me, it's an earthy, woody type scent. We'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. Uh, bamboo and fig. So if you like wood scents, you very you very well may appreciate this one. If you if you don't like woody scents, this one may not be for you. And I can tell you right now, smelling it myself, it's not the type of scent that I would buy personally. However, if you like wood, you might like this one. Our, uh, this is in the Kodiak base, which is fantastic. It is a very good quality base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. That is tallow, it's bare tallow. Very good soap, very easy to lather. Excellent customer service at Murphy & McNeil. They have free shipping, no minimum in the US. It's really hard to beat. Murphy and McNeil when it comes to service. Now, I don't know what the cost on this one is gonna be yet because it's not published, but it's usually around four to five dollars an ounce, somewhere in between generally. And I'll give you a look at the soap there. And I used about a teaspoon of soap and the lather making was very, very easy. It's soft, but it wasn't any problem at all. And again, there is a look at it. And we will probably put this stuff up for giveaway at some point in the near future. Thank you uh, to Murphy and McNeil for letting me try it, but again, the scent on this one is definitely not a CDB scent. It's not one that I would buy personally. It's just, it doesn't do anything for me. We have almost 24 hours of growth today. You can see the salt there. And let's get started with our mister. We look forward to using the Rockwell 6C today. This one runs you about 49 bucks. I have a link below to Amazon. This one is in gunmetal. You don't have to get the gunmetal. And the 6S is the all stainless version. The 6C is the alloy. And uh, I like using this one from time to time. And today we're gonna use the number five plate. I don't know if you can see that five over there, just because that's the way the razor was oriented when I put the feather blade in it and I forgot to check the plate. So we'll go with five, no big deal. All right, now let's <laughs> read mist and get into it here. Here is our lather in the Captain's Choice bowl, nice and hydrated. Never had any quality issues with Murphy and McNeil soap, nor bad service. Um, they have excellent service. They have excellent soaps. And I always enjoy using them. The brush for today is the That Darn Rob, or a That Darn Rob. Now Chisel and Hound, formerly known as That Darn Rob. And we expect to get an excellent shave with the Kodiak base here. Now, now what tends to happen with uh, Murphy and McNeil new releases They'll release some new stuff in Kodiak, but it'll only be that first run or so that's in Kodiak. And then the subsequent subsequent runs are in the Aeon, which I like just fine. Um, I know some people strongly prefer the Kodiak base, but for me, I'll take either one. It doesn't really matter to me. And honestly, if the Aeon was cheaper, I'd just buy the Aeon because I think the Aeon is plenty good enough. Plenty good enough. But either way, you're getting a, a good quality soap. And you know, the funny thing about this soap is, now that it's lathered on my face, I prefer the scent on my face than what I get off the tub. And sometimes that happens with soaps where when you get them sort of mixed up and lathered, the scent changes a little bit. This one's still woody, and I would call it somewhat earthy, which again, earthy is almost never for me. I'm just not an earthy scent type of person. I like something bright. I like more cologne you know, type scent, something with a little pop to it. This one's quite earthy. Reminds you of uh, definitely what you would consider to be a fall scent, in my opinion. And it reminds me that fall is coming up and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> when the fall comes, um, the scents that are like this one are just not for me. I just, you know, I've, I've tried many, many, and I just never really warm up to them. Um, I always like that brightness. I'm looking to be uh, in the morning when I'm shaving to have something bright and have some nice pop and just enjoy the experience. All right, very nice. Feather blade here in the Rockwell 6C. The Rockwell is definitely a nice razor. The head on it is a little chunky. Um, that's often a, a complaint because, you know, that head is tall, but 
you know, if you think about it, the blade, I think I heard DK mention this, the blade sets pretty close to the top cap. So getting under your nose, most of the size of it is on the bottom. So it really shouldn't be a problem getting under the nose if you're shaving there. Um, this is a good razor. The 6C has three plates that come with it and has one setting on each plate. So you flip it over to get an additional setting, one being the most mild and six being the most efficient. I find that um, it's a smooth shaver and today I'm using five. It is very smooth indeed. It's definitely a well-made razor, the Rockwell. Whether you're getting the 6C here, which again runs you about 49 bucks, uh, or the 6S, which generally runs about 100 bucks. It's a nice razor. It's got some uh, decent heft to it. If you are someone who prefers the uh, the weight of aluminum and you don't like hefty razors, the Rockwell 6S or 6C might not be for you because they're both fairly hefty, with the stainless, of course, being heavier. It is a good quality razor, though. And I do own both the 6S and the 6C, both are good razors, which I enjoy using from time to time. Very nice indeed, nice, smooth shaver. You don't get too much blade feel, you get some blade feel, but it's kind of just enough to, to let you know you're, you're doing well. We were having a discussion the other day, I was talking to Glenn Helley and the inspector, and Glenn was talking about um, soap residue, you know, coating the razors. And one of the things I would recommend to you folks is, if you're getting a lot of soap residue left over on the razor, so after you shave, let's say, and I'll show you, after you shave, you you see a film on it. Um, if you're swirling your razor around in the sink, like you plug the sink and then you're removing the uh, lather in the sink, swirling it, it will lend itself to more residue. If you rinse it under the sink like I do, it will keep the residue at a minimum. You'll still get some, but it's definitely minimal if you're rinsing under running water versus sloshing it around in a sink where you have the whiskers and the, the lather coming off. So that's just a tip. You sort of want to minimize the, uh, the amount of residue and stuff you have on your razor, rinse it under the water and just, you know, continue to rinse it and it won't have time to collect on the razor as much as it does when you're sloshing it around in the sort of dirty water. So it doesn't mean that uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with sloshing it around. I used to do that, but I did get more residue on my razor. So there's something to think about. Hope you can see that sheen on the leather there. This is good quality stuff here at the Murphy and McNeil. Gonna do a two pass today cause gotta get into the office and get some things done this morning. So on the days where I'm uh, going in early, I tend to do a two pass just so I can get my video edited. Of course, I, I shoot these videos very early in the morning. It's now um, probably four o'clock, um, a little after four. So I have plenty of time before I have to be to work, but I edit the video and try to get it all finished before I head out. But the longer the video, the longer it takes to get it all ready. So I cut it back to two passes now, sometimes just to get that process expedited. Cause honestly, our shaves have been just as good whether we're doing two or three passes. But on the days where I have the luxury of more time, I'll do three passes just, just for enjoyment, but I've been getting great shaves on the two pass. Good quality lather here. One thing about Murphy and McNew, the quality is on point. And again, to me, I find it to be on point whether we're using the, uh, whether we're using the Kodiak base, which I believe this one is, or Aeon, which is to me, both easy to lather good they they provide for really good lathers and uh, neither are crazy expensive let me check the bottom of that just make sure this is kodiak yes kodiak base so if you want kodiak base get it early get it early now i do not i do not know what the companion scent to this one is this one is yang the other one i guess will be in i don't know what that scent will be but this one is woody and earthy and it's kind of like uh, I, I, that's the best way to describe it, woody, earthy. And so if those scents are appeal to you and you really like woody, earthy scents, then you may like this soap. But for me, this would not be a, as I mentioned before, not be one I would purchase. Nor, I, I definitely wouldn't want the splash. 
<laughs> for this one. Well, I don't want to um, go around smelling like, you know, earth and wood, but that's just my preference, you know. Scents are really 100% in the realm of personal preference. And some people really like woody scents, so if you like woody scents, I think this one will be for you. If you are uh, more, if you tend to favor summer scents that are brighter, you know, some of the clone scents, aqua, citrus, you know, fruit, um, things like that, this one probably isn't in your wheelhouse, so something to consider. I'll always tell you what I think, regardless if a product is, is sent for me and not, and this one would not be a purchase <laughs> under any circumstance, scent-wise for me. But I will also say at the same time that I do recognize that people who really appreciate woody scents might really appreciate this one because it's going to give you very natural um, wood, earthy type scent. And I think some people will enjoy it, but if you're in the, if you find yourself being in, on the bright side of the house, then this one probably isn't for you. And as you can see there, there's tremendous residual slickness on the soaps, which allows me to go over those areas with no problem whatsoever. So the quality on this soap, top rate. I've really learned to uh, appreciate, or I've grown, I should say not learned, to appreciate Murphy and McNeil soaps. I've used them quite a bit over the la this year, you know. I bought a number of them, and I have never had a bad experience quality-wise with the soap. And honestly, on scents, rarely do I miss. And this one I wouldn't have bought anyway because of the notes. I would have immediately, no, no woody, earthy, nope, not for me. But um, I don't miss very often on scents when I buy one from Murphy and McNeil. I find that they, um, they describe their scents well. If something is based on a cologne or fragrance, they will put that it's, um, they identify which fragrance it is that it's based on. I like that a lot. I think that's absolutely the way to do it. As opposed to sometimes people will make the sort of inspired fragrances and they don't, they don't list what it's inspired by, which is a key piece of information in my, <laughs> in my view. But Murphy and Mino does, uh, they provide all that information, which I think is awesome. They ship quickly, and even their international shipping is reasonable relative to some other places. So I think all in all, um, Murphy & McNeil is a great place to do business. And they also sell uh, soaps by other artisans, too. They don't sell their just their own stuff. So they have a lot going at Murphy & McNeil, and I've always had great experience. And I'm having a great experience today with the Rockwell 6C on plate 5 to me. Plate 5 hits right at the medium level. I don't think the Rockwell 6C or 6S is aggressive even on the 6 plate. It's not. To me, it doesn't reach high aggression on even 6. It reaches like within the medium range or maybe the upper end of medium-ish. Um, the Rockwell, you know, regardless of which plate, is still a, a smooth shaver. I don't think there's any plate on Rockwell that feels the least bit rough. It hits medium even on the upper plates. So lower plates, pretty mild. Upper plates hit that medium range for me. And it's just fantastic. And the feather blade today is on its third use and it's I've had an excellent shave with it. So I would say we've had an excellent shave today. The quality on this soap is top rate, like I said before. The scent is not for me. It would be definitely in a no buy soap. <laughs> But uh, I do appreciate uh, the the scent, and I, I think people who like woody scents, if, if that's your thing, earthy, might be for you. All right, let me rinse, and we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back, and off camera, we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our PA alum. No stinging, so that was a nice, smooth shave with the Rockwell 6C. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. There's... Which Hazel, Hazel, excuse me, <laughs> had an excellent shave today with Murphy and McNeil uh, Yang. Again, the scent on this one is not a winner for me. But if you like woody scents, um, bamboo, fig, earthy, this one may be for you. The quality, big thumbs up, top rate. Ease of lather, up there. Um, every, all the qualities that you want in a lather, up there. Great quality, great service at Murphy and McNeil. And this one, I'll be giving away at some point 
for sure. The Rockwell 6C is a tremendous value, in my opinion. You get six settings in one razor. You just flip that plate over, you know, two, two settings per plate. Really, really nice, uh, about 50 bucks, or you can get the all stainless for about 100. Uh, very nice razor, I enjoyed it. And of course, the feather blade is awesome in that. We used our That Darn Raw brush in our uh, Lancaster brush soaking mug, and we're gonna finish it out today with a scent that I do love from Murphy and Manil. I love it a lot. And that is BDLM, which is a wonderful, Barbershop de los Muertos, which is a wonderful, wonderful scent. This stuff here is awesome. So uh, it's not all a loss today on the scent because this BDLM is terrific. If you haven't tried it, I recommend you do. It is definitely a scent that I recommend. Oh man, that's so good. Oh, <laughs> and especially following that earthy soap, which I didn't like, that's just, Oh, come on, smell that. <laughs> that that's fantastic. You, you just can't beat it. Anyway, thanks so much, folks, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.